Hey there, it's Kate from Tatsuku. Today we're talking travel cribs. I'm going to be showing you the differences between the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib Light and the Guava Family Lotus. Okay, so here we've got the two cribs side by side. On the left, the Guava Lotus, and then in the right, um, the, the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib Light. In terms of overall dimensions, they're both pretty similar. So that's both in terms of footprint and then also interior space. Um, the Lotus is maybe a hair shorter than the Baby Bjorn. And also, if you look at the top opening, it's a little bit um, bigger, I think, on the Guava. Mostly because if you look at the Bjorn, those rods angle in a bit more, um, which makes it a little bit more stable, perhaps, but makes the top opening smaller. Now, they've, they've both got the mattress sitting on the floor. Uh, one big difference is that the Guava family has this door, which you can zip open and closed. Um, pretty handy if you need to soothe your baby to sleep or nurse him or her to sleep. So mom or dad can just climb in there easily and then sneak back out and zip it back up. Okay, so here's the two cribs side by side, all folded up. You can see compared to my little model how big they are. So the guava crib definitely folds up a lot smaller. Um, it's a sort of much narrower shape, so you can lift it up by the straps or you can on, put it on backpack style, and it's pretty light. I, mean, I could feel very comfortable walking around an airport like this. And this one, the Baby Bjorn, is more like a suitcase, really. A small suitcase or a very large um, briefcase, but it's also very light. They're about the same weight, so I think the biggest difference is this one you could take as a carry-on, whereas this one um, you would have to either check separately or put inside a, a larger piece of luggage. Now I'm going to do a setup for the guava crib. Unfold it, unpack it rather. It's encased in the mattress. You can see it's about, I don't know, maybe an inch thick with um, some harder material on the bottom. I'm going to take it out. It's like this with the legs folded up. Once you get it out of the bag, and then all you got to do is Lock the four legs, which is as easy as pulling up on them. Flip it over. And then the sides kind of auto click into place, which is great. And then you've got to attach the four, these little pieces on the fabric, you've got to attach those to the four legs just by snapping them in. see on this one how that works just by snapping them in and you can see there's this little dot here that you push to release and snaps in to let you know it's in there securely and then when that's done you can put the mattress in and this is honestly the most time consuming part is there's these six tabs on the mattress, Velcro tabs, which need to be, um, after you put the sheet on that is, you need, need to be fed through these little holes in the bottom of the fabric to keep the mattress taut and the sheet taut. So get that done. Number six. Okay, and let's just check it out. And you've got a little play space. This little one's 10 months old, just to give you an idea of size. Hello. Let's see if she likes the door. Come on out. Come on out. Yeah, come on out here. <laughs> anyway, that's the Lotus. 
Okay, and now we're gonna do a setup on the baby Bjorn. So let's unlock our mega suitcase here. I've already got the fitted sheet stored on here, just for convenience. Okay, so this one is crazy easy to set up. I mean, it's like, well, you can count how long it takes, but take their mattress off and just flip out the sides and flip down the legs and then just lock it in place. One, two, three, four, done. Once we've got the frame all set up, just gotta pop in the mattress pad. And by the way, the mattress pad on this one, I'd say is um, notably thicker than the, than the one on the guava. I'd say it's maybe inch and a, inch and a half or two inches and it just feels a lot, a lot cushier. So for an older baby, you know, it might be a little, a little more comfortable. I'm gonna put in that pad and then um, it needs to be secured to the frame the same, the same as the guava does, but it's a little bit different mechanism. So this one's got these loops, um, which are a little easier to attach to, to this one because they don't need to be fed through both the fitted sheet and the crib fabric to, as on the guava. Instead, you just, you know, the fitted sheet fits kind of just short of those loops, which is convenient for, because you can change the sheet without needing to detach the mattress from the crib. So you just need to feed these little red tabs, loops, through the crib bottom and attach them to these little red hooks. And you just need to do that at uh, the four, all four corners as opposed to the six, the six attachment points on the guava. Let's do that. So there's, it's a little bit quicker because it's no Velcro and they don't reattach once you've done all the work of detaching them. Okay, there's one. Here's two. Oops. Always takes the longest when you're making a video about it, right? Here's three. And here is four. There, all done. And the takedown is super simple after um you just detach those four clips again, those four uh, lit loops, and then pop out the mattress, flip it upside down, and you just kind of pull each of these four legs and then wrap them in, into each other and then fold this up just like that. Just close it up like a book and it's really fast. Let me just put my little model in here just so you can see the size. So again, she's 10 months old, standing up. So it's standing up, she's you know, there's still plenty of room for growth. Um, have a two-year-old two even in here. And um, she's totally comfortable and plenty of room for her, but it uh, might be a little tight quarters for, you know, a two or, or a three-year-old. So now just maybe some quick comparison thoughts on the two. Um, I think they're both great cribs. I mean, really, um, both top of the line can't really go wrong. Um, I would say I'd pick one versus the other, like a little bit more if you have certain different needs. The guava, um, I think, is great because it packs up super small, so it would just be great for air travel. And um, it also has this unique zip-off door, uh, zip-up door, which is just really great if you, you need to nurse your baby to sleep um, and then slip out. Uh, the third thing I really love about the guava is that you can convert it into a bassinet. So I don't have that demoed here, but we own it and used it for the first six months of our baby's life and it was just great. We used it just stationary in our living room and you can attach these legs that uh, let it rock if you need that. So the, if you're gonna travel a lot or you want the bassinet feature or the zip up door feature, I would not hesitate to get the guava. For the baby Bjorn, you know, I think this thing just cannot be beat in terms of build quality. Um, I think it's a little bit higher than the, than the guava in my opinion. 
um, ease of use and ease of setup are really just unparalleled. It's much quicker. It's quicker to pop open the legs, to attach the mattress, and then to, to fold it up or fold it, unfold it, and then the reverse when you're putting it away. And um, the mattress is also a little bit thicker, a little bit more comfortable. So for us, we use this as a sleep area for our baby um, every night. Um, and so I feel more comfortable leaving her in this overnight, which seems a little bit more comfortable. And um, I also love that the Baby Bjorn is Okotex certified. So, you know, but neither of them has any um, lead, phthalates, uh, PVC, um, or flame retardants in the mattress. But the fact that the Baby Bjorn is Okotex certified for lots of other substances beyond just those um, gives me a little added measure of comfort. So I personally like that. So, um, however, the downside, of course, is that it packs up, like, as you saw, a huge suitcase when you're not a huge suitcase, but a small suitcase size when you pack it up. So if you're going to be taking it for plane travel, you know, it's a little bit, um, a little bit bulkier. Uh, and of course it doesn't have the bassinet option or the zip up door. So that's how I'd compare them. Good luck finding the best, uh, making the best choice for your family. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found it useful. If you did, check out totscoop.com. It's the best way to discover and share the best baby products curated by your friends and other parents. See you there.